Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory. It's David Johnson's Cardinals going up against Amir Abdullah's Lions. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, first open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, there's still value not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Now the veteran kicker, Phil Dawson, ready to get us started. And we are underway from Ford Field. This is fielded at the goal line. <laughs> and he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. The arm has always been evident. The maturity has really increased in the last couple of seasons. How about 2016 for Matthew Stafford? Eight game-winning drives in the fourth quarter overtime, the most by a quarterback in a single season in the Super Bowl era. In fact, one Detroit newspaper put the odds of all those comebacks occurring at 8.65 billion <laughs> to one. It's crazy. 8.65 billion to one. I don't know that lightning will strike twice, but what a season. carry for Amir Abdullah and this one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 it'll be a loss of a yard and that'll bring up a second and 11 okay there's a tone setter first play from scrimmage stuff him in the backfield you know what they were doing last night in the hotel room <laughs> visualizing exactly <laughs> I don't want to know. that that's what they were thinking about making that play having leverage lower than the offensive lineman getting into the offensive backfield knocking someone down just what you said set the tone early for this game Jeez, you are fired up when i see a play like that i can't help it here's stafford now on second down it's caught by Aberderis. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now the offense for Detroit. With Matthew Stafford, a quarterback, and Marvin Jones, and Golden Tate at wide receiver, we know that Detroit is proficient at throwing the football. But they want to increase their running game production. Only 30th in the league in 2016. They went out and signed offensive guard T.J. Lang and right tackle Ricky Wagner in order to try and get the running game going. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. Now that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. Here comes the Lions punter now. The Pro Bowler Patrick Peterson back deep for Arizona. Six yard return after a punt of 48. And the Cards will take over first and 10. 
So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They're led out by the veteran and the former Heisman Trophy winner back in 2002, and that's Carson Palmer. He'll turn 38 in December, and there was some discussion in the offseason about him possibly contemplating retirement. Elected to come back, though, his big right arm, exactly what they want in Arizona. They love to play the downfield game, throwing it to their big-time receivers. time with Johnson and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little gain it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four you know what really fires up offensive linemen when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here They go to Johnson again, and to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Fresh set of downs here. Palmer gives to Johnson on the draw. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Let's look at this offense now, and let's talk about John Brown. An exciting young town from Pittsburgh State, home of the Gorillas. Hard to cover, great moves in short areas. Second down following the run. Play action, it's Palmer. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Palmer to Brown, and the Cardinals move the chains. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Paul Warlow coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Second down, Johnson. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. The Lions here on defense, they're starting 11. Worth noting, a defensive end, Kerry Hyder lost for the year with an Achilles injury. And that's a big blow to the Lions because he was so well-liked in that locker room and came out of nowhere to become a quality starter for them in 2016. But if they get Ziggy Ansah, their star defensive end back at his level of 2015, that'll more than make up for the loss of Kerry Hyder because Ansa is an absolute terror going after the quarterback. Now Palmer on third and long. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked, instead it's incomplete. 
Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. Now a man who made his NFL debut late last year, Matt Wilde, to punt it away. Back deep is the former Seahawk, Golden Tate. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the Cardinals' defense as they head out to set up shop. Their stay on the field last time was short-lived with a three and out. See if they can get some more of that. And ordinarily, you want to be on the field playing, right? It's almost gold to a defense. Get to the bench, get some rest, turn the ball over to your offense. We'll see what they can do here, see if they can force another three and out. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. With the Cardinals, you get a package of pressure, and that's on any down, any distance. They always want more people near the line of scrimmage, more people attacking the quarterback. And then back behind that, they have a lot of different looks in their secondary, and they can't wait to get Tyron Matthew back on the field full time. He's their wild card because they can play him at safety or at corner. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Throwing again. Stafford out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third and 13. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Robert Kimdichi with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. This Cardinals pass rush in 2016 got home 48 times. That's a pretty good number. A very good number. Led the league. Is it just because the dudes that they had or the scheme or both or what? It's always the dudes first, but their scheme, attacking, pressure, they'll continue to pile up the sacks. Here comes the Lions punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. A sidebar league-wide story, Charles, as these two teams make their way back onto the field. Anquan Bolden retiring after 14 NFL seasons, and boy, he is well-respected around the league, isn't he? Boy, is he ever, and what about the accomplishments, right? What did he finish? Ninth, I mean, at this time, ninth in the league yeah, in he had catches? Over 1,000 catches and 14,000 yards. Productive, tough, gritty, the kind of guy that on third down you had to find because he was going to find his way open, and no matter how difficult the catch, he seemed to come down with it. Three Pro Bowls on his resume as well. He'll be missed by the NFL. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him a couple attack and an eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. See if they stay on the ground for second down. 
They go play action now. Palmer. It's complete to Jerron Brown. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Give him 30 yards there. Strength throwing the football downfield has never been an issue for this big guy. I still remember the first time I met him. He was playing for USC, and when I got introduced to him, I thought I was meeting their starting tight end, not their starting quarterback. Such a presence, Carson Palmer. Very much so. Has had it ever since he entered campus there and still has it today. And now a first down following that long game. From the gun, it's Palmer. Over the middle here to Brown. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time? time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Johnson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Again, it's Johnson. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Palmer. And this is going to be incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3 nothing. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. the made field goal. Here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about, 
until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They always say when you have your health, you have everything. And Tyron Matthew back on the field, full strength. Great sight to see. How helpful is that for the secondary of Arizona? Beyond helpful because they can match him up in so many different ways. Outside corner, inside of the nickel slot, safety position, both strong and free. His versatility drives them in the secondary. A dump off for Abdullah. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. the gun Palmer it's complete to Brown right side and they're able to get this one across the 35 a nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks it's a nice completion a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got but it is so tough to cover that route the drag route because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defenders part always so empathetic for those DBs aren't you So here we go, first and 10 now. Palmer 
gives to Johnson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. There you go, play action with Palmer. Man. The left side is Brown. <laughs> and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 56 yards. That was a nice pickup. Some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there. A little run after catch. And it came on a crossing route. I can just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does a defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. And they're not going to get a playoff here as time will expire on this first quarter. It's the Cardinals off to the early lead. We're back to the Motor City after this. This is the NFL. On the NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gauden, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football, and they've got it here with a first down. an art to dot the eye just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds such an incredibly graceful athletic play but also a lot of practice goes into it they work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds here's phil dawson now for the point after it's up and good and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And time to spotlight Golden Tate. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. down Stafford here and that'll be incomplete we do have a penalty flag down however let's see what that's about so flag for the contact pass interference 
and I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Stafford. Ebron with it over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Eric Ebron's got skills to spare. They just want the production to equal those, and he needs some good help in order to get that done. Had 61 catches in 2016, battling an ankle. Yeah, the surprise, though, just one of those 61 hit pay dirt. A second down run for Abdullah. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. and 10, Stafford. Ebron caught left side. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle?43-yard line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. The Lions on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Stafford, he hits Riddick underneath. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they've rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Lions punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Gets it away, and I don't think Peterson will get a chance to touch this one. Angling for the sideline. Getting set to go again. Here's Carson Palmer heading back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. The 
They begin the drive with Johnson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Underneath for Johnson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Well, let's talk about what a bonus it is for a running back who's able to catch the ball downfield. Well, David Johnson started his college career as a wide receiver before transitioning. He's got it all. Well, it showed last year 80 catches from that running back position led the NFL. scrimmage and taken down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. It's Williams. Stops short of the 25, and that second effort got him a couple extra. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down, here's Palmer. <laughs> Caught right side, Gresham. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. here on first down. Keeps himself upright. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Ziggy Ansah in there to get him for a loss of five. And there's no doubt in my mind that this guy has been eager for this season. Talk about Ziggy Ansah. For him to get back to sacking quarterbacks as he did in 2015, 2016 was really kind of a wash because of an ankle injury. Second down, Palmer. 
And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On third and one, it's Palmer. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tahir Whitehead. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they'll throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. chance maybe here for them to get him more involved they're down here on the scoreboard and he's been very quiet and the silence has been deafening for his team they don't need that at all they need fireworks they need explosive plays they need him touching the football in any way possible maybe go to some jet sweeps anything to get him going yeah, something to get in the ball we'll see if they can do it very tough spot here for the offense to start After the interception, here's Stafford. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Perfect. Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. fake here on first down to the right side to Eric Ebron and he goes out of bounds across the 40 yard line a good pick up there of 20 yards and now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen right you see it now the confidence is starting to rise I think now as a play caller because that has happened you lean on it a little bit more you don't go totally away from running the football but you do say guess what we can throw it we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence now a first down throw Stafford and that'll be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Ten yards still left on second down. To throw again. Stafford. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The Lions on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Again, it's Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Stafford to Jones. Enough for a Lion first down. Ha <laughs> ha! 
first down, Abdullah. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They go with Abdullah again. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I know it's a cliche, and coaches always talk about it's a team game. We need all 11 to win. But let's face it, Detroit really needs Amir Abdullah to have runs like that all season long. Missed a lot of time with injuries, especially recently. Now, Theo Riddick wound up leading the Lions in rushing last year with just 357 yards. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. And here is motion again, and that's going to be two in a row. of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive in total eight points. And it's Amir Abdullah that finishes it off with a touchdown run. now set to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now let's look at David Johnson. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. 
He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, and it's second down. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. And Palmer gives to Johnson. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Palmer will throw. Screenplay, Johnson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Here's Matt Weil now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley in our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. Here's Matt Weil now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And time to spotlight Golden Tate. Hasn't had his best day in the second think though that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him there's two sides to that coin I would agree so you have to give them credit but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact change formations change where he lines up put him in motion anything possible to shake him free maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive looks like the defense in press coverage here Stafford on first down. Ebron's got it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. On first down at Stafford. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. down. Stafford, he couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Hey, 
Second and ten, Stafford again. Probably picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. This offense was on the move. Now two straight in completions have them looking at third and ten. To the air again, Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think there he had to come off of his primary receiver in a big way, just trying to get it to a secondary guy, unable to get that play completed. Checked down, but didn't even have enough time to do that incomplete. Here is Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. David Johnson now gears up to help lead this offense back on the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. comes to the line now first and ten. From the gun it's Palmer. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. If you run an out route it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. Bed, you got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. Play action. It's Palmer. And he fins him up. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
Akeem Spence breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Gets him set third and long for the Cardinals after the sack. Final play of the half. It's Palmer. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to our EA halftime report. The Lions are behind right now, but the whole to give them a boost. The Cardinals will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. All right, let's roll the highlights. End of the first. Palmer's on point with the throw. He'll make it all the way down to the four-yard line before being tackled. Cardinals now later on the drive. Palmer's got the completion here, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. Pushing the lead to 10. Midway through the second quarter, the pass ends up being picked off. Whitehead is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drop. Now following the interception, Abdullah's stiff arm attempt works perfectly, and he caps off the seven-play drive with a score. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. A look at Carson Palmer now as we focus in on our player's spotlight. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. First and ten, it's Palmer. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Four yards on the dump off, it's second down. I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. From the shotgun, it's Palmer looking middle, and it's incomplete. J.J. Nelson, the intended target, and it's third down. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? On third down, Palmer. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
that was a nicely run slant route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Johnson on the counter, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down, here's Palmer. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it with Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Now Palmer to throw on second down. Pressure, he's brought down. Akeem Spence in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Gets him set, third and long for the Cardinals after the sack. Out of the gun, Palmer. Caught right side, Jerron Brown. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. And a big 32-yard play on third. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So the offense has it first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Palmer on first down. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They go back to the ground with Johnson. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. 
But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. First and goal. Defense with their backs against the wall. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Looks to punch it in here from the one on second and goal. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. Operating from the gun, Palmer. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their out first possession of the second half. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They start the drive with Abdullah. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second down following the run. Play faked Abdullah. It's Stafford. And no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Dayon Buchanan with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today.
And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now on the return is Peterson. We call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down, Palmer to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. From midfield now, here's Palmer. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here's Matt Wild now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14 yard line. We focus our attention on the Cardinals' defense now. They have a little something to build off of from last time with a three and out. And what they have to build off of? Great confidence right now. Being able to stuff someone on a three and out, you feel like you're in control now. You're doing the dictating. They want to see if that can continue as this game progresses. Will it continue? We'll see. Now a first down throw, Stafford, and a loose football, and this is recovered by the Cardinals. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Now I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Now Palmer on first down. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Play action. Now Palmer. 
He's going to take a shot for the end zone. So the longest falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the gun, Palmer. Underneath for Johnson. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that's going to make it fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Now that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And Dawson's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. So they recover the fumble but could not take advantage of the short field. They do get three. And no one ever turns down three points going up on the board. But the offense will go to the sidelines wondering what if. While the defense on the other side, they'll celebrate holding them to just a field goal after giving up such bad field position. Now after the main field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. On the return, Dwayne Washington. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Stafford on first down. Ebron with it over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. A near turnover, but the offense recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. Back to throw, Stafford. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Lions on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is going to be third and 13. A shotgun snap for Stafford. It's caught, Jones, and he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. 17 yards on the pick up there, the drive will continue, it's a first down. 
He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Stafford gives to Abdullah. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Second down, here's Stafford. He hits Abraderis, it's complete. And he's brought down. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. And here comes play number six on this drive. On first down, Stafford here. And his throw is incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. <laughs> Throwing again. Stafford. Able to get away. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Robert Kimdichi in there to sack him for a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Throwing is Stafford. This is Reddick on the screen. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So the folks on hand here growing a little restless with their kicking game. That's now two misses so far. And in a tight game, fourth quarter, the fans are the only ones getting restless, Brandon. There were a few looks of disbelief on that sideline as well. 
The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> Here's Johnson. And he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. On the ground, this is Johnson. And now running right through it. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Now they'll throw it with Palmer. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Finds a tight end in the middle of the field. Just a simple stick route. Decent gain. Doesn't get you a whole lot, but it's pretty reliable, isn't it? And tough to defend. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pickup there, it'll be second and eight. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Eight yards to go here on second down. From the shotgun, it's Palmer. Over the middle, Jerron Brown's got it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. From the gun, it's Palmer. And that'll be caught by Gresham for a Cardinal touchdown. Jermaine Gresham, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. 
they went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. So they're going to go for two. And here's Palmer. Fights him off. And he's got it here for the two points, but there is a marker down. So we'll have to see what that's about. Illegal touching. Offense. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. now. They had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? On first down at Stafford. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here's Stafford now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The Lions on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Stafford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here comes the Lions punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it, 
way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And they'll get him down up past the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. They go play action here on first down. It's caught left side by John Brown. The 40. He's at the 30. 10 for touchdown, Cardinals. John Brown, 82 yards. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now Dawson for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. First and ten, Stafford. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. Time at a fresh set of downs. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On first and ten, Stafford. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. On second and ten, Stafford is complete to Golden Tate. 
And a nice gain of 21 yards. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, Stafford. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. From the red zone now, Stafford. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. To the air again, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and it's third and short. The Lions on third down, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. Here it's third and three. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. The Lions on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and 8. Now Riddick. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's complete right around the eight. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And not great starting field position here for the offense. Now Palmer on first down. 
And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? Johnson. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Out of the gun, Palmer. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the fans should be applauding this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys with great field position, probably near midfield or better. Here's Matt Weil now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Now it's Tate. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. The Cardinals defense now, they make their way back out there. down throw Stafford to the right side to Eric Ebron flash the stick skills on that run but then stop shy of the 35 a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion time for a break we're back to finish this one off after this So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. Stafford, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first, and it's third down now. on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This time they face a third and two. Operating from the gun. Stafford. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive and it was third and short. Okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Complete to Abradares. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. 
Throwing again at Stafford. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Marcus Golden in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. To throw on second down at Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Jared Aberderis, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. And here comes play number six on this drive. From the gun, Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. And now it's second down. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. Stafford looks to throw again. And this lead. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far, nothing going right offensively. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Again, it's Stafford. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Frosty Rucker in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So out now come the Cardinals. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play. The practicing, the, the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. <laughs> yes, get out of there. Now Johnson. 
give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.